Aloha everyone, this is Secretary of the Navy Carlos Del Toro. I'm speaking to you from Fort Island near the USS Arizona Memorial, a sacred place of remembrance for our Navy and Marine Corps family. Today, on the 80th anniversary of one of the most horrific days in our nation's history, we reflect on the attack on the USS Arizona, USS Oklahoma, USS Nevada, USS West Virginia, and a number of other great ships that call Pearl Harbor their home. On the morning of December 7, 1941, 353 enemy aircraft suddenly appeared in the sky. They sank five battleships, three destroyers, and a training ship. Some of those ships and the crew members that perished on board remain here to this day. Other Army, Navy, and key civilian targets across the island were decimated as well, along with 200 American aircraft. The most significant loss that day, however, for the thousands of young sailors and Marines who served and died here protecting our nation. 2,403 American sailors, Marines, soldiers, and civilians would never return to their families and loved ones. On this year's anniversary, we will hold a very special interment ceremony for the remains of 33 sailors that perished aboard the USS Oklahoma that day. And tomorrow, December 8th, we commissioned the USS Daniel Inouye, DDG-118, in tribute to the late Senator and World War II veteran who served as a medical volunteer right here at this site for the devastating attack. He, along with many other sailors and Marines and soldiers, fought their way across Europe, the Pacific, battle by battle, to achieve a lasting peace for generations of Americans. I encourage you to read more about Senator Inouye, a native son of Hawaii, dedicated public servant and recipient of countless awards, including the Medal of Honor, Bronze Star, Purple Heart, and posthumously, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. On this day and every day, we must remember those who honored heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice and service to our nation. We must also honor the courageous way that service members and civilians in the Department of Defense and other Americans across the country rose in defense of our nation and allies in the long years that followed. My wife, Betty, and I are grateful to all who served and sacrificed during World War II and in every other conflict throughout our nation's history. May God bless you and your families who served by your side. Continue the mission of those who follow and never forget the true price of freedom. Always remember and honor the legacy of Pearl Harbor.